I'm Ansad, and I saw The Twilight Zone Season 1, Episode 12. It is directed by Alvin Ganser, written by Rod Serling. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode is pretty straightforward. We have a guy, a, a peddler-type man. He's like, he's like, I got a bunch of stuff. He's going around in this bar. He's like, I got a bunch of stuff. You got what you want? You got what you need something? You need something? You want something over here? Look at all this stuff that I got, you know? Look at all this stuff. I have all of it. You should have all of it. I have all of it. You should have all of it. And so I have none of it. And of course, I do like how we have a lot of people be like, no, we're good. We, we don't have anything. There's nothing there we need. And he's like, ooh, I have something you need. Ooh. He gives people various things. He in particular gives this one guy. This one guy, he's like sitting alone at the bar. He's like, oh, what do you need? And he's like, oh, I, I, I don't know what I'll need. Uh, I'll show you what you need. You need some scissors. He's like, I don't need scissors. Ah, you're a scam artist. I don't need scissors. I don't need them at all. And of course, this freaking doofus. What a doofus. Goes into the elevator. Sweater gets caught in the elevator. It's going down. And he has, he's like, oh no, my sweater's caught in the elevator. Oh no, the elevator doors or whatever. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Oh, good thing I have scissors. Oh, it is what I needed after all. Oh, Fred be like, that's his name by the way. Fred be like, ah, I got, oh wow, I can't believe I'm gonna go to that guy again. Hey, hey, hey dude, you, you seem like you wanna help me out. Do you want to give you what I need all the time? And of course, he's like, oh yeah, I, got, I do got what I, what you need. And it's a leaky fountain pen. What do I need with a leaky fountain pen? <gasps> oh, and I'm like, dude, stop freaking out before you know what it's needed for. Okay, this guy is annoying. And I'm like, I don't like this guy immediately. Come on, stop, Just chill out. Stop pestering this guy. You're, you're taking advantage of him pretty easily. It's like uh, the leaky fountain lands on like a horse, he bets on the horse, makes a lot of money, and he's like, oh, I have this evil scheme. I'm gonna make all the money with this guy's help because he's gonna give me, he's gonna give me, a, 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 he's gonna give me what I need, you know? And like, I do like how he literally assumes that what you need is going to work all the time and not just once, which I really like. I really like how he starts freaking out. He's like, oh no, the fountain pen isn't leaking anymore. Wow, I can't believe it. Well, how am I supposed to make my ounce of money? And I'm like, got him. You know, what you need comes a few times, okay? I mean, you don't, you don't need something all the time. You don't need things all the time. Like, I'm curious as to why he needed that pen to make that much money so he can get be like oh i'm gonna be i'm gonna use you ah ha ha but it is that guy's decision ultimately to be terrible to abuse this guy's power and i do like how this guy is like i'm gonna stand up for myself no no i don't have what you need you only need what you have once you only need what you need once and then that's it and i'm like wow that's crazy i guess that makes sense like food like if i need food i only need food once and then i'm good and then uh, later i'll need food but like i'll only need this thing once for a while like like with the case of the leaky pen it only really works like once kind of and then you know it stopped he's like i'm gonna throw it and it's like what if the leaky pen gets leaky again that was also my thought like why did you decide to throw it it could it could have got your your luck could have gotten better but he's shown to have no patience he has like he's just terrible okay he's all the qualities you don't want a person to be he's like arrogant he's like oh i can do it all by myself and i don't need anyone's help except for your help and i'm going to abuse your help because because i don't need anybody's help <laughs> or something so i'm gonna get rich by myself amazing he's just he just wants to get rich he's really i don't like this guy i don't like him i don't like him at all i do like how he it's like oh what you need is a pair of shoes he puts on a pair of shoes without even assuming oh it's, it's a pair of shoes for me no he's just gonna put on the pair of shoes oh it's too tight and it's too slippery well i guess i'll somehow make it work for me and i'm like no if that's what you not what you need then you don't need that it's just trash to you throw it out throw it out 
Oh my goodness. But no. No. What he does instead is like, I'm gonna get you, old man, because you're not gonna you're not gonna get me what I need. You're you're so willing to help other people out. Even though they're like, Yeah, sure, thanks. Cool, I guess. Oh wow, I can't believe it. This is actually what I needed. This freaking Fred guy be like, Aah! and then later be like, oh, I need this. Let me get more things that I need. And then react the same thing. It's react the same way every time he gets something that he needs. He's always like, no, how, how could I possibly need this? Is it raining? I just got, I just got water on my eye. And I hope I didn't mess up my eyeliner. Anyway, so it seems like it's about to rain. Fun. That is what I needed, is rain. So, I like this review. I do like how freaking Fred gets hit by a car. He gets what he needs. Death. He needed to die. He needed to die. He did not need to exist. I like it. I like the ending. The ending is like, Ah, oh, you got him! You get wrecked, guy! And, like, it's just, like, it ends on, like, a shot of, like, his shoes. I'm like, yes! You're dead. Got him. Get wrecked. I really like the acting. I like... I really like the sets that they're in, I like the bar a lot. I do like the different types of people there are in this episode. And like, the different types of reactions to the guy giving stuff to people that they need. Like, you got like, oh okay, I guess I'll take this. Or, I'm not sure what this is for, but okay, I'll take it. To, okay, sure. To, oh, why am I, ah! you know, all those reactions <laughs> occur. So, it's fun. I like this episode, it's raining, and I don't want to stand out here and ruin my makeup. So, I'm going to give this episode, like, a solid 8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. If you want to fast track a movie review, you can do that for $20 deals at patreon.com slash Presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree on the way. You can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews, so you can go here. And until next time, in South, I'll see you later, my Sal Croutons, Bigabits. Bigabits.